Bam, bam, tsh, bam. Come on. Is it going to work this time? We got sound. We got sound. It works. This is fantastic news. We're live. You can see me. You can hear me. Yay, sound. Thank you very much for bearing with. What an absolute palaver. Note to self. Test out the sound next time you want to stream. I'm just too excited. I was just too excited to get on with my evening and to chat with you guys. That better be vodka. No, this is water. I'll tell you why it's water. It's because I've already had a bottle of champagne. But I wanted to come on and give a little bit of company to those who might also be spending tonight in their house by themselves. Let me give a quick hello to everyone that we've got in the chat. Husky, hello. Ghostnut, hello. Darth Vader, Brad, Livy Hatch. Matt Sini. Laurel, hello. Eclectic Dreamer. B&B, Kieran. Jenny, hello. Hello, hello, hello. There are so many people in the chat. I'm very, very sorry in advance if I do not get to everyone. Um, okay. I'm just going to attempt to, before I get into answering questions, um, I wanted to take a very quick moment. I don't know how long I'm going to stream for, but I, like many people in the world, like many people in the UK, am uh, alone this New Year's Eve. And, uh, you know, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but I wanted to share it with people and to keep people company if they are feeling lonely or um, for whatever reason not feeling particularly festive because I would understand why one wouldn't feel festive in a time like today. But it's New Year's Eve. I've put on a jacket. I've put on a jacket. We've got some very cheap Prosecco. Crinkle Lovin' has a complaint. Please, voice your complaints, Crinkle Lovin'. And, you know, I just thought it'd be nice to have a bit of a ASMR-ish. I want to highlight ASMR-ish. Festive stream. Because we might get excited. Who knows? Okay, anyway, I'm missing a lot of chat. <sighs> Hello to everyone here. Thank you very, very, very much for joining me tonight of all nights, the final night of 2020. What a shame it will be to say goodbye to this year. Okay. Someone asks, someone asks what time is it for me? It is about quarter to nine on the 31st of December. Are you alone in the new year evening? I am. It's my birthday today, Nicola. Happy birthday, Nicola. Thank you very much for joining me. Benjamin asks, where are you from? I am from New Zealand, Nueva Zelanda, or Aotearoa, as they would say in Māori. Ah, mate, love the decoration. Yes, to the eagle-eyed, you will see that my Christmas tree is still up, as traditionally it deserves to be. 12 days of Christmas. Okay, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to everyone just joining. Please say hello to, to Satan. Hello, Satan. Okay. You are going to go out with your friends. Fair dues. If you can, if you're in a place where that is a uh, fair enough thing to do, then fill your boots, mate. Please. Okay. Um... In your merch, you only have women's shirts and small. This is crap. Oh, Rachel, I'm so sorry. Um, and I'm very sorry that you're on my merch store. Um, I really need to give some proper consideration to the to the merch because I have loads of wonderful ideas of things that might be, um, you know, wearable. Um, wow, there are 150 people here. Thank you for keeping me company, guys. Not that it's entirely for me, but I really appreciate it. All right. Okay. I put on a jacket. I did put on a jacket. Oh, 
People have given me, people have donated. Thank you so much, pal. You're the most underrated ASMR channel I know. I don't know why the gentleman doesn't have millions of views. It's very kind. I um, was surprised when the gentleman got as many views as it did. Hugely grateful. The gentleman is still a video that I'm uh, really, really excited to have uh, worked on. And Impossible Albatross, love you. Thank you very much for, for donating. Just popping in to say hi. I'm about to drive home from work. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. And I know I'm going to pronounce this badly. To Ignorando VC, thank you very much for the donation. Incredibly kind. Um, Rachel, does this mean that you only want small women to wear your shirt? No, it doesn't. I've clearly made some sort of abominable mistake. I apologize. Okay. I'm doing terribly on the chat. It's a lot of people saying Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I want to know, please, how are people spending their nights? Please let me know. I want to live vicariously through each and every one of you, as you sort of are through me right now. All right. Dennis, how do you choose your stories? Do you mean the sort of stories that I read... I'm going to simultaneously, slowly try and open this bottle of very cheap Prosecco. Because that's the sort of guy I am. I'm going to end up not actually answering any of the questions because I get distracted too easily. Scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back. Choosing the stories. Oh, well, first, is that still water? Yes, it is. I'm very sorry. I have betrayed myself. But I'm a bit full of bubbly myself. I really don't need any more. Because these streams do not need to be any more burpy. Um, <clears throat> you're right. I am not alone. I am with 120 plus friends. 190 friends. Arjun, thank you very much for the lovely donation. Very kind. Crinkle up and tell us about your necklace. No. No. Done it far too many times. I didn't answer how do I choose my stories. If we're talking about the fairy tales, I would literally usually just pick one at random. If we're talking about the videos I do now. Is this going to be very ASMR-y? Okay, guys. We are... What is it? It's almost nine o'clock in the UK. I'm sure it's New Year, I, I say I'm sure, I know that it's New Year already for many people in the world, including my own family in New Zealand. So, to those who are celebrating in 2021, how is it? Is it better? <laughs> is it the same? <laughs> Please, let us know. But, if, like me, you are yet to see the new year. Oh. This is for you. Hey. I don't have a Prosecco glass. <laughs> I have a wine glass. But why? But why, Atlas? Why don't you? I don't know. I don't have an appropriate answer. Pretty nice, yes? Yeah? Pretty nice. Pretty nice sounds. Okay. <sighs> I'm missing all the chat. If you have a particularly uh, burning question, please just ask it again. Um... And to all of uh, my patrons who have joined, hello, hello, hello. I'm sorry that I'm uh, missing a lot of you in the chat. It's moving far too quickly. I'm not used to this. A bit anticlimactic. Very sorry, Jenny. It should have really gone everywhere, shouldn't it have? I'm in my own house. I can't be cleaning all this stuff up. What do you look for in a woman? Are you single? I saw those questions, right? I saw those questions. I am single. <laughs> Can't you tell? 
those roses back there I bought for myself. Cheers, everybody. From me to you. Thank you very much. This wasn't meant to be a bit of a speech, but um, but I uh, I guess we'll take the time now to the 220 or so viewers in the chat. Um, this to you know, this was the year that I started ASMR, and that I started this channel. And uh, it's been cool, man. <laughs> it's been really cool. I've found, I've, well, I've made a lot of friends. And I've found a lot of people that I love. And, um, you know, really, really enjoy the company of. And I've found a hobby and a passion and a pursuit that I really enjoy doing. It's really cool. I really enjoy making videos for you guys. And... I've um, been lucky enough to have people actually watch my videos, which I didn't expect at all. You know, I, everyone starts out their, their channels and their YouTube journeys in a, in a very similar space, just being very grateful. Lilith, Lilith Day, thank you. Sadly, I have to go to work, but I wish you, Atlas and all, a happy new year. A very happy new year to you too. Cheers. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, without going on for too long about it, thank you, everyone. This is cool. It's really cool that um, there are so many people watching me and keeping me company on New Year's Eve. On a year like this, and a year like this. Pardon me. It's, um, it's cool to have found community. So, from me to you. And let's do more in 2021, eh? Do more soft-spoken, silly, silly nonsense. Um, are you feeling optimistic about the revival of live theatre in 2021, Mary Taylor of New York? I have nuanced thoughts about that. I feel optimistic always. I'm a I'm an optimistic type, but um, but live theatre in in London where I live and where I work, I work in live theatre, um, has a way to go to instill confidence in ticket buyers. But I'm optimistic. I'm really optimistic. Of course I am. I mean, live theatre is always going to be made. I mean, the West End in its full commercial money making glory may not be around for, you know a year or two before it you know, gets back to its full strength and I'm sure it will come back um, with with full strength indeed but uh, but there'll always be theatre made there'll always be arts Crinkle Lovin Oh So Aroha for anyone who's just seen Crinkle Lovin's message means love in Māori and I believe that sort of means love to you and yours, although I could be wrong. Because I do not yet speak fluent Māori, but I hope to one day. <sighs> okay. You have a really relaxing voice. What is your name? Why did you decide to open this channel? Awesome videos. I found you from Man on a Train. Hey, Flintlock, what are you drinking? What is your birthday? Gosh, all the questions. My birthday is in January. Um, my birthday is the 27th of January, in fact. And on that day, <laughs> I turn 30, which is going to be a big stream because I won't be able to celebrate it with anyone. <laughs> so I'll be celebrating it with you lovely people again, my 30th birthday. And I'll probably also be celebrating, don't want to count my chickens, but maybe in the next month, if we're lucky, we might get to 50,000 subscribers, which would be crazy. It would be crazy. 50,000 subscribers, my 30th birthday, and my channel anniversary, because I started Atlas in January of this year. So 
that will be a very special stream indeed. If you guys can join, I'd be obviously really, really grateful if you guys could, if you want to. Rachel, why don't you love me? I do love you, Rachel. Everyone in the chat, please tell Rachel that they love her. I certainly do. And thank you so much for donating. Happy New Year. <clears throat> Logan asks, I'm sorry for the occasional non-ASMR noises, by the way. It's going to be a semi-ASMR stream. Um, do you speak Māori? I think someone asked. Um, no. I mean, I think many, most people in New Zealand can speak some, because it's a... Um, it's an official language of New Zealand, and it's, you know, taught to us in schools, etc. Uh, but I'm not fluent. Um, Gustav Luna, thank you so much for the donation. And a Gotham Knight, thank you. I'm applying for costume design for theatre. All the luck to you. Theatre is a wonderful place to work. Let me know how you get on. Um, there's Liam in the chat. Tippy tappy ASMR, happy new year. Happy new year to you, yourself. Good sir. Um, I have to apologise. I have already had a little bit of cheap Prosecco. So, I'm already a bit flushed. But, it's the night for it. And this is why we're streaming. To spread some of the joy. Um, you got to go, but I just want to say happy birthday. Um... Sorry, not happy birthday. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Liam. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, okay. Uh, where are we? Ahmed Ali, 50 is an understatement. Your work deserves a million. Far too kind. Very, very, very kind. To be honest, I uh, feel lucky and grateful enough to, to be where I am. I uh, have no dreams of being a really huge creator. You know, I'm just here to make cool videos. Um, sorry if I ask again, but why did you decide to open this channel? No, fair enough, please do. I'm sure I'm just going to miss a lot, so do keep on asking. Um, and I'll get back to it. Gustav, thank you. Such a great channel. So glad I found it on this dreadful year. Gustav Luna, thank you very much for the donation. And S.G. Dare. You know what, S.G. Dare? Please, please, please tell me how I should say your name because you're one of my patrons. I see you comment all the time and your comments are always so, so, so lovely. And I, I don't know how to say your name. So please let me know. Thank you very much for what you do. I appreciate it so much. You can't imagine. My French, merci. Thank you. Phenisopterus atlasus. Uh, I assume that's a dinosaur. I think you tweeted about that, didn't you? Happy New Year. Happy birthday a little bit early. Thank you. Ah. Question. I'm going to come back to it. Why did I decide to start my channel? Uh, I'm speaking very quickly, aren't I? Let's slow it down. I decided to start my channel on a whim. In mid-January, I uh, saw mid-January this year. I only discovered ASMR this year. I found randomly a GB video, GB ASMR video recommended to me and um, watched it and went, wow, this is bizarre. And then bought a microphone immediately and I was like, I'm doing this. <laughs> Don't know why. Okay. <clears throat> Keep up the amazing work. Thank you very much. I intend to. My stomach is going crazy. I'm so sorry. Must be this excited for 2021. Asker, you look so sad on the thumbnail. I thought something bad had happened. To be honest, I have no idea what thumbnail I've put. Very sorry. Your work is literally how I stayed calm this year through online learning. That's really awesome to hear. Yeah, Alice, they are so right, though. Your videos are so creative, and they really are a masterpiece. Thank you, Logan. Very kind. Spent 22 years at Warner Brothers Studios, Melissa. Alice, you're a talented, creative visionary. Be proud of where you're going. It's an amazing contribution. Wow. Um, thank you. It is tough sometimes to be proud of your own stuff. I find this, um, all the time. Sorry, please excuse me. I'm just going to multitask. I need to, um, probably announce to people 
at some point that I'm streaming. Although we've got 300 people here, which is a bit mad. Logan, subscribed a few weeks ago and did not regret. Well, thank you very much, Logan. Welcome on board. Um, I always feel smarter and more sophisticated when I listen to Brits, says just, an, just another human. Now, just another human, you would be forgiven for thinking that I'm British. One, because I live in London. Two, because man on train is an English person. But I'm actually from New Zealand, which is almost about, well, probably is about as far away that you can get from Britain. I'm not talking about sort of, I'm talking about distance here. I realize that they're in fact pretty similar places. Sort of. I'm a sound crew chief slash designer slash engineer for live theater. I just wanted to say how I hear and appreciate all the effort you put into your sound design. Thank you, Neko. Sound is definitely one of these things that I want to improve on in 2021. Crinkle oven, your hair looks cute. I did it. I did it. I did it. Now I can end the year happy. My hair looks cute. I win. No one can bring me down now. Don't even need mods. None of the haters can touch me. Um, where are we? My current theory for Man on Train video, I love the theories, is that the Watcher is a child. I don't know why, but it gave me infinite joy imagining it. It's a good theory. Jody Marie. I haven't welcomed you yet. Welcome, Jody Marie. Thank you very much for joining me. How are you? How's your night going? I absolutely love your aeronaut video. I've always wanted to go up in a hot air balloon. My husband is scared of heights, so that was close enough. <laughs> Thank you. I'm petrified of heights, which I like to think that I brought into Flintlock a little bit. Um, the aeronaut was me mainly just wanting to make a video where you flew through the clouds. And I know that that's exactly what you do in the aeronaut video, but it was uh, the entire inspiration. I think that people like dreaming about flying and many ASM artists like creating fantastical situations that people can lose themselves in. And my video drew that that was a singular inspiration that I wanted to transport people literally, I guess, um, up, 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 where are we? Okay. You have a nice beard and mustache. <laughs> Thanks. Very kind to be 26. No, was that 26? No, Dennis. Sorry. To be 26 says your hair got approved by crinkle. Indeed it did. Indeed it did. Easy claps asks, how old are you? I'm a few days off 30, a few days, let's say four weeks off 30. Um, Logan, I always thought that Flintlock was brothers with the man on train guy. It could be the resemblance. What are people drinking? If you drink, let me know. I hope it's better than this. Frankly, horrible cheap Prosecco. Okay, where are we? Um, man on train, I liked, didn't like that he was shot. Spoilers. <laughs> um, love your videos and channel, thank you. Do you have any pets? I do not have any pets. Uh, God, sorry, I can't cling on to one of the... Why did you choose not to name the man on the train? I did. His name's Grant Worthington. Priscilla, your Mozart video made me want to cry. I love it. I'm drinking water. <laughs> I'm very sorry. It made you want to cry. Um, can't open Prosecco or I'll have it all. I never drink Prosecco. I'm one of these people who uh, has a real sweet tooth. Do I mean sweet tooth? No, I don't. I mean sensitive teeth. You can probably partially hear all the fireworks going on outside. Um, really sensitive teeth. So after a night on Prosecco, I wake up and I'm all in pain. Um, one second caller. 
Um, hello. Will there be a continuation of the man on train, or did he actually die at the end? You're asking two separate questions there, I think. He did die at the end. Atlas, says Neko, asks Neko, is it weird to think that you have reached so many people from all around the globe? Yes, it is. Completely bizarre. Uh, the fact that he, uh, Atlas, <laughs> has, is talking currently to 300 or so people. Pretty surreal. Pretty surreal. Karis. Thank you so much for the donation. Hey Atlas, love your stuff. Currently quarantined home with the plague. And you and many ASMRs have been helping me to stay relaxed. Just wanted to say thank you so much. You help more than you will ever know. Well, I'm really, really glad that I've been of some help. You are entirely right that I will help more than I will ever know. Because it's impossible to comprehend. But it's I'm thrilled when it's brought to my attention. So, thank you. And thank you very much for the donation. Envu. Hey Atlas, you're amazing. ASMR has helped me through a lot of the sleepless nights. I especially like you because you look so much like my older brother, who was all the way in the UK distance due to COVID. Wow. Well, I'm really glad I can help. Creative calm, ASMR. Creative calm. Polite snapping for creative calm ASMR, please. I've put on a suit jacket. Because it's a celebratory occasion. Okay. R.I.P. Grant Worthington. Breach. R.I.P. Grant Worthington. Funeral ASMR. Crinkle Lovin's already done the best funeral ASMR. I don't know if I could ever top it. You're my favourite ASMR artist. I love the Grand Atlas video. I like it how people have been watching the Grand Atlas video. That's quite cute. Um, because, you know, a lot of people here would have been brought to my channel through Man on Train. But, um... But I think people talk to me the most about Grand Atlas, which is really cool. RBA, you commented on one of my vids, asking if there could be a live stream soon. You did. And to be honest, you probably spurred me on to do one. 317 people watching me in the last two hours and 50 minutes of 2020. Pretty cool. Pretty bloody cool, yeah? Okay. Atlas, did you go to film school? No. I thought about it. I really didn't like film. I really didn't like the idea of uh, studying old films and then trying to work out their techniques and, and colours and angles and, and cameras and such. And now, of course, that's all I do. <laughs> Geek out on it. It's funny how tastes change. It's funny how there's just one thing that just tips you over. Like, uh, before ASMR, before starting this channel, I'd never considering, considered making films, really. I just had no interest in it. But this has led to... Um, Really quite a fun hobby. Pardon me. Any big plans for 2021, ASMR wise? Asks Kira. Um, yeah, I have uh, just huge lists of things that I want to do. Um, all of them far too ambitious. Um, but I can tease that in 2021, first half of 2021, we'll be getting the gentleman too, which I'm very excited to make. I think all of us are. Um, <clears throat> just discovered your channel about two days ago, Little Miss N. Thank you. Welcome on board. Add slow gin to the Prosecco. I'm not a gin guy. You know how everyone has these alcohols that, um... You just can't do because you had a really bad night on them or something when you were like a teenager or something like that. Gin is that one for me. Am I drinking the superior sparkling water right now? The answer to that is, is of course no, because there's no superior drink. 
I'm drinking a uh, very inferior, crappy, cheap Prosecco. Nikita B. Atlas, what did you go to school for? And if we're talking about tertiary education, I studied uh, graphic design, but I found it a gigantic waste of time because I, uh, like many others of my ilk, was sort of educated by YouTube. Um, I like it when his voice goes deep. <laughs> Do you like it when the voice goes deep? Um, what is the favourite video you have made so far? I sort of half don't want to answer this because I don't want to, don't, don't want to offend anyone who has a different taste to me. It just might seem bizarre. But, um... But let's just say that I, um, I, I like that the videos that, of mine that have received more attention than others have, because I'm proud of those. But one of the videos that I think, um, that I think is my sort of, not a dark horse, because like, you know, 90,000 people or so have watched it. And, you know, people by all, all accounts thought it was cool. So I, I have no complaints. But I think um, one of the videos that I was really proud to make, and that really I really enjoyed making, don't want this to take anything away from any of my other videos, was Sleep City. I really enjoyed the tone of Sleep City. It was just really to my taste. All right, <clears throat> where are we? Ollie, can we see the palms of your hands? No, it's on my OnlyFans. <clears throat> I don't have an OnlyFans. Um, where are we? Do you sing? I feel like you'd make a lovely baritone. <laughs> um, I have sung in my time, yes. And I have a video that's going to be coming out in a matter of days where I'm a singer. I don't necessarily sing, but I play a singer. Yeah, anyway. Easy Claps, can you read my comment I sent before? You might have to resend it, Easy Claps. I'm very sorry. Chat's moving fast. You have a so perfect English accent, I can listen to you for hours. So, jolly Mott's Dits Asma. Thank you very much. Um, uh, I think the English accents that I've done on my channel... Uh, Yeah, okay, I'll mod you. I'll mod you. Um, hang tight. Why can't I do this on the bloody thing? I have problems modding people, as we've discovered before. It doesn't like to work. Do, 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 do. No, stop it. Guys, YouTube's going crazy on me. We might have to do it later. We'll do it later, CC. Um, you want my palms. What do the palms mean? What does this line mean? It goes all the way across. Am I dying? Is that what that means? Anyway. Um, English accents. Yeah, so Man on Train was obviously something, I say obviously, um, was a sort of South English accent. A sort of posh South English accent. But, um... The Gentleman was a Cockney accent. Both of these are English accents, but both of these are very different. And I think the Cockney one I sort of struggled with. Okay. Um, where are we? I'm very sorry, again, to the people that I'm missing. I realize that there are a few of you. If you, again, have a burning question, ask it again. Hopefully I'll get to it. Um, and every second, every, every so often, I'll just pause, like I am now. And thank the newcomers for coming. And I really hope everyone's having a really nice New Year's Eve. And thank you very much for keeping me company. And I hope in turn that I can keep some people company who might not otherwise have any. So let's just all hang out. This is just wholesome good times. It is always important to thank someone for coming. 
Thanks, Lucy, for coming. Okay. What's your background, if you don't mind my asking? Pickled heart. I uh, am a... I guess I guess uh, I'm a sort of photographer, graphic design, Photoshop artist hybrid. Is my is where I come from. I work in um, London theatre. No more reading stories in 2021. Um, I'm sure I'll always read stories in some form or fashion. Don't worry about it. Uh, where are we? Your Cockney accent for man on train sounded to me like a guy with a posh accent trying to pretend to. <laughs> Man on train was very posh. He wasn't cockney at all, really. Um, <clears throat> Ryan, I'm having a nice New Year's Eve now that we're all enjoying each other's company. Yes, that is what today is about, Ryan. Welcome. Welcome to the Cuddle Puddle. Cuddle Puddle. All right, questions. Hit me with them. And tell me what you're drinking. How wonderful was Housemate of Vaunted? Um, thank you, but uh, it was, uh, of course, as wonderful as the people in it. Crinkle Lovin' especially. Crinkle Lovin' Jim, uh, Tinglesmith, Shanny, um... Oh, and Haley, whoopsie daisy. Amazing, amazing collab. I loved it. Fate loves tomorrow. Happiest of New Year's to you, sir. Thank you for all that you have done. I look forward to what you do, what you will do in 2021. Cheers. That rhymed. Round of politest applause. Thank you so much for donating. Very kind of you. Um, what made you get into doing YouTube? I did answer that slightly earlier on, but I'll answer it again. Nothing. I just bought a microphone and decided to do it. I, I'd wanted to create uh, some sort of content, be it, I don't know, doing t-shirt designs or doing uh, just sort of, you know, drawings to, to sell or, you know, something, something that other people could absorb because I've always been a sort of um, commercial, I guess, graphic designer type, but it's never been public facing in a sense. So doing uh, something which enables me to, I guess, talk to a community of people is really cool. So this is why I'm doing YouTube. Um, no, Rachel. No. We all care about you. Um, Cece, will we get any more story readings or will I have to pay you insane amounts of money for some bribery? We will get more story readings. Um, I just need to frame them in different ways, you know. I mean, my latest Christmas video was a story reading, just sort of wrapped up in a different sort of format. So yes, when Joe finishes his stupid duck story, I say stupid, it's an amazing duck story, it's the best story ever, and he's already finished the first draft, but when, when he gives it to me, I cannot wait to read it. It's going to be so cool. Okay. Do to do to do. Where are we? Captain Price roleplay. So loads and loads of people commented on the gentleman saying that I sounded like Captain Price. And I had no idea who this was. And I uh, googled Captain Price and found that he was that Call of Duty guy, was he? Um, and he does sound very much like me and the gentleman. <laughs> Neville Longbottom roleplay. I can't work out if that's a compliment or not. I hope Harry Potter won, Neville. Um, who has been the most fun character for me to play? Remus. Very, very good question. I would perhaps <laughs> give you some insight into uh, what it is like being me and watching myself act in a role play. Is that it's all pretty torturous. I'm not entirely sure if I've ever enjoyed um filming a role play <laughs> i'm uh as 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 many, as crinkle loving and uh creative calm as i can attest to um incredibly self-critical and uh acting is not something that i'm very used to so uh 
I'm getting there. I'm getting there with feeling more comfortable with it. Man on Train was easy because I guess there was a lot of me in uh, Grant Worthington in that, you know, he spoke posh and he sat on a train and he read an old newspaper. But the things he talked about were stories that, let's just say, were easy for me to tell. Um, do you support the Premier League at all? If so, who do you support? Um, well, my flatmate and best friend, Sam, uh, is a, uh, well, he supports, uh, he's supported a lot of teams in his time, but currently going through a bit of a Tottenham Hotspurs phase of my, my family and I have always been Southampton people. Um, but I wouldn't say that I'm gung-ho about it. Crinkle Love and ASMR, what about when we all filmed together on Discord? Was that not fun? Yeah, guys, I need to tell you about that. That was amazing. So, by far and away, the coolest way of filming a collab that I've ever been a part of was on Crinkle Lovin's channel. It was for the operating room ASMR, which had, uh, which Crinkle Lovin was obviously the ringleader of. And it featured a, a, a team of us, including Amy Kay and Shani and uh, Completely Casual ASMR. And... Uh, who else? Have I missed anyone there? Um, and it was awesome. We all filmed live over Discord against the green screen. And it was just really cool. Check it out if you haven't already. It's medical ASMR history if you're into medical ASMR. Any characters you struggled to play? Are there scrapped ideas you could tell us about? To be honest, the, the Mozart idea lay on the cutting room floor for months I came up with it right at the beginning of the year and was just like no one's going to watch this it's going to be boring <laughs> but and that was before I started doing sort of role plays in earnest and then I sort of started uh, developing I sort of you know accumulating people who wanted to maybe watch me do I sort of say role play a little bit loosely Mozart was a role play but, um, you know, things like Unlimited and Grand Atlas and such are more akin to, you know, sort of short films or skits or sort of little, I don't know, because they're not sort of other, they're not sort of recognisable characters or recognisable sort of services or people in your life. But Mozart definitely was. So I don't know, I just one day decided that I could make it work. Um, easy claps. I've sent the comment five times and you have not read it once. Can you send it again, please? Just until I read it. Um, where are we? <laughs> um, Jody, I bet filming live is interesting. It is. It is interesting. Um, I was really nervous about it because I'm not like a... You know, I'm, I'm one of these people who... I mean, Man on Train was a sort of one-take wonder, which was pretty rare because usually I just do uh, you know I do it in bits because I freak out so often but Crinkle Lovin made the experience really sort of easy and comfortable um, hello Atlas love the accent thanks David very kind um, Jesus Christ I need to know were those sweets in Grand Atlas good they're amazing. If you haven't tried fondant fancies, please do. They are good shit. Um, how did you come up with the title for Man on Train? Rachel, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think it was descriptive enough, really. Um, where are we? This is making me sleepy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, a British Army officer from the 1700s roleplay. I'm, uh, yeah, I mean the historical things. Um, I'm sort of nervous about because I don't want to get details wrong. There were loads of people on Man on Train just picking holes in it. And it's not what it's about for me really accurately portraying a sort of 
moment in time. But maybe, never say never, you know, they're all good ideas. Um, what is the name of the wine in the Grand Atmos video? It is, it is French. Um, it's the Pouille Jouvet something. I can't remember which year. And you can call me, call me Syl. Well, Syl. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you properly, Syl. You support Tottenham Hotspur. Get out of here. I don't. I said my flatmate does. Jeremy, thank you very much for the donation. I'm watching a film right now, but just dropping by to wish you a happy new year, Alice. Happy new year to you too. Thank you so much for coming by and keeping me company while you're watching a film too. Can I speak Italian? I cannot. Drunk Ollie roleplay. <laughs> I mean, most of them are. You can see me drinking whiskey in half of my roleplays, I imagine. Oh, you're turning red. I think I started red. I don't really know what the lighting is doing to me, but... And also, probably, I've had most of a bottle of champagne. I say champagne. Cheap Prosecco. Um... <laughs> Love the way you said, reading the paper. A man on train. Etc. Um. <clears throat> Easy claps. I just wanted to say thank you for being here. You have kept me on this planet when I've tried to end it all. You got bullied. You kept me alive. Well. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I could play some some small part in that. Hope you're okay. And Happy New Year. Um, <clears throat> Romeo and Juliet roleplay, please. Maybe. I'd like to do Shakespeare at some point. Ollie, what's your shoe size? I don't know. 11 or something? Um, even your normal voice is soothing. I don't know if you've heard my normal voice on this. Even when I forget it's ASMR and scream. Um... <laughs> Jack, it's an excellent strategy. Well done. It shows your fingers bend. Does it? It's very exciting. Just another human. Stop insulting your drink. I won't. I'm not sure I don't mind. Grace, oh no, I miss so much of the stream. Well, you're here now, Grace, and that's what matters. Rachel, Happy New Year, bro. Happy New Year, Rachel. Thanks so much for dropping by. Since you skipped the last time and someone requested it, can you say, according to all lords of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly? Wish granted. Young Dumbledore roleplay. I could never step into Hugh... Uh, what's his name? Jude Law's shoes. Whoa. No way. Maury's voice is better. Better than mine. Maury, Maury. I don't know if I can do Maury. No. No. I need a good Maury line in order to get into Maury. If anyone hasn't seen Big Voice, please watch it. Maury's awesome. Was it hard to make the Q&A video without laughing? Thank you very much for asking these questions multiple times. It's very, it's helping me. Oh, I, I can see fireworks. Yes. Oh, the fireworks are amazing too. Q&A video without laughing? Sort of. I mean, you have to remember that I was sort of like filming them separately. So the jokes or things that might have sort of seemed funny probably weren't that funny to me. <laughs> Considering it had to be a little bit more methodical. Priscilla, I think you have one of the best male ASMR voices I've heard in a while. Please don't tell Jim Chi. Well, it's very kind. I, um... Very, very kind indeed. I think that Jim G's voice is superb. Love listening to Jim's. Can you say with a really deep voice, Happy New Year, my friends. Actually, I think that was deeper than is audible. Happy New Year, my friends. I guess. You could pass for Jude Law. No, I could not. 
He is a handsome, handsome bastard. Infamous Sleepy, what is your background in cinematography? I have none. I can hear fireworks. I can see fireworks. Hey Atlas, from your vids, I like Man on Train. It sounds like you've done opera. Have you sung anywhere? I have done opera. I have, in fact, been in La Traviata, which Man on Train has also been in. Funny. Funny that. Um... Grace, I've had writer's block for a painful amount of time, but I get closer to a creative mindset after watching your videos. Thank you. I'm really, really glad I could help, Grace. That's, that's, that's fantastic. Um, <clears throat> Jake, why well, you must be up early. What time is it in Oz? I don't live in Australia. I live in London, but I'm from New Zealand. Neither of which are Australia. Um... All of you are being very kind. You remind me of an altern alternate universe binging with Babish. I love Babish. Binging with Babish. I have binged binging with Babish. All year. Love him. Drake accent was amazing. <laughs> Remus. Uh, that's kinder than Drake deserves, to be honest. What was Drake's accent? Oh, uh, Drake, yes, very cool guy. <laughs> it's offensive, Drake's accent. I uh, he's sort of pan, pan European. <laughs> uh, and I'm Drake. Pleased to meet you. I really enjoyed Housemaid Vaunted. It was funnier than I think ASMR needs to be in order to be relaxing. I, I certainly found it funny. I enjoyed it. Mainly Crinkle Oven, of course. La Traviata or La Boheme, asks Andromeda Cat. My preference is for La Traviata. Um, what was your inspiration for Man on Train, the most uh, creatively named video in the world? Um, none. No video. I mean, no inspiration. I just decided uh, that I wanted to do a video in a suit on a train. Um, have people recognized you and go say hi to you when you're in public? Hey, internet dude, good to see you. Um, no. <laughs> and that would be terrifying if that happened. Does Drake like the TikTok? Asks Greta. Uh, no, Drake is more of a Snapchat guy himself. Um, will Atlas ever get tick? talk. Atlas has no idea how to use uh, any social media, really. Uh, if you follow me on social media, you'll know that I'm completely useless. I uh, don't uh, I, I don't know what to, what to do or what to say. I'm not good at it. So no, he's not going to be getting the TikTok. I doubt. Well, I don't know. I could be convinced, I'm sure. As you go into your 30s, what are your thoughts about having children? Do you want them? Yeah. <laughs> At some point. What advice can you give to a graphic designer such as you are? Um, let, let YouTube be your education. Basically, think of things that you want to make. They can be anything. They can be cards for your friends. At Christmas, they can just be jokes, memes that you want to put on the internet. Um, parodies of things that you've seen that you like, etc. Find out how to make them and make them. And you will learn things and you will get excited to do other things and then you just keep on making, etc. Just make stuff. Just make, make cool shit all the time. Don't stop. Let yourself get obsessed by things. That's how I do it. Is it weird you want to touch Greta's face? Not even slightly. Um, where are we? Crinkle or Creative Calm? Have you two been recognized in public? There you go. There's a question for the audience. Crinkle Oven and Creative Calm? I think Crinkle Oven's rebranded as Gym 6. Um, where are we? I think I saw um, Starling in the chat before as well. Hello, Starling. I'm sorry I, I'm sorry I possibly would have missed you. And we've been graced by a real-life ASMR celebrity. Amy Kay is in the chat. Everyone, please, round of applause for Amy Kay. Amy, thank you very much for joining. I hope you're having a wonderful 
New Year's Eve. Okay. Well, <laughs> when you well, I have to say that you give me the chills every time. I'm so glad to see you on the New Year's first day. Being happiest this year, and you. Thank you very much for coming. Twenty five minutes to go until New Year's. I just want to sleep. Is it for you? We've still got two and a half hours here. Two hours and twenty five minutes in London, in the UK. Very pumped. Very excited. I don't think we'll be streaming for that long. But, hey-ho. Um, oh, please, it's my pleasure. Oh, Amy Kay. I love you. Creative calm. I only get recognised at garden centres. <laughs> um, surely you mean special K. That's better. The Peter John. Fantastic. And also, Peter John Radcliffe. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you're really well, my friend. Will you be doing the stream right now up until midnight? I will probably not, because in half an hour to an hour, I'm sure I will decide that I've had far too much to drink. And my words will start going everywhere. And I'll have to leave. But, you know. Let's just have fun while we're here. Any hobbies outside of tech, like woodworking or crafting? Um, I, uh, yeah, my, my, my hobbies are many and varied. I uh, get obsessed by things all the time. So I have sort of fleeting hobbies, of which ASMR is, is, is not one, by the way. I've done this for a year, which is a surprising amount of time for me to stick at something. <laughs> um, but I'm really enjoying it. Uh, uh, will there be a sequel to Man on Train? Um, hard to say. Hard to say. Crow calm. More drink, though. Uh, where are we? When's your birthday? 27th of January. Turning 30. Put it in your diary. Because we'll be streaming. We'll be doing this again. Because I will not be able to hang out with anyone. So, this is my 30th birthday party. In this house right here. Girls and boys. And everyone in between. Um... <clears throat> My friend Luke really wants me to do Man on Crane, which I think is a winning idea. Winning. Um, Toby the tree looks so sexy. <laughs> which way am I going? That's Toby the tree. What was the thinking behind Unlimited? I was amazed by the quality of production of that vid. Thank you very much, RBA. Very, very kind of you to say. Um... The, uh, behind the, the thinking, I sort of just wanted to, I've, I always, uh, how do I want to articulate my thoughts? I identify many, many, many scenes in movies that I feel are really, really satisfying. And Unlimited, or rather Limitless, has been one of these films that, to me, has always just been like a, a hangover film, or a sick film. A film that I watch when I'm just like, I can't be challenged by anything. I just want to watch something really, really satisfying. And this, um, th this film, uh, Limitless, is just f for for. It's not even one of my favorite films. It's just a really sort of safe, comfy film for me. And so I wanted to make something that um, that sort of captured the way that it make me made me feel. It's sort of euphoric and dreamlike and and ambitious and uh, aspirational and. It was good fun. I'm not sure if Unlimited fully captured that, but it, you know, it at least sparked something for me to to want to unravel. My good fellow, you look much younger than thirty. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I'm not yet at that age. I, I don't think where I need to necessarily feel like I'm younger than I am. I still feel quite young. I think. Man in Pain, a man with Michael Cray... Okay, this is great. Fantastic brainstorming, brainstorming session. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Okay, a man with Michael Caine, man in Spain, man in pain, man in Ukraine, man in a drain. I like man in a drain. Man on man. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. I can tell you're not Hollywood because you'd have sequels and prequels planned. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, people people uh, you know very kindly say that I should make sequels to things, 
and um, but then I'll make something new, and then they say I want a sequel to that, and just just let's just you know let's just make stuff. We don't need to have sequels to things. Um, man, <laughs> man with Kane, I really like Man and Rain. I've got a sort of rain video planned. It's not quite a Rain Man video. Okay, long sentence. So you're nailing it, Jack, with these uh, chat tactics. Will you kidnap binging with Babish to do an ASMR cooking video? I would love to do that. That would be really cool. I um, don't think somehow. AS binging with Babish, funnily enough, did try his hand at ASMR, although he didn't call it ASMR. He did a series of podcasts with him reading Bamba the Bear fairy tales. Which. Come on, Babish. That's your man's thing. I would love to collab with Babish. That'd be amazing. Um, all the same free shopping bags on his sofa, though. <laughs> uh, let's put those away. No one saw anything. Christmas on a train. Man dying in vain. The man who fell through a drain. These are all cracking ideas. Man got game. I like. Um, man with no brain, yeah. Man in a lane. <laughs> can you do any other accents? No. You can watch my videos and see my, my actual attempts at me trying to do other accents. They're horrible. Um, <laughs> man getting gains. All right, let's settle in for this. We've got more ideas coming through. Man gains fame. Man forgets train. Did you get your check back? Yeah, yeah, you got your check back, it's all fine. Man in shame. Bedtime with Babtless. <laughs> I like that as well. Man with back pain. New Zealand accent? Can I do a New Zealand accent? That is the real question. Man goes up in flames. Man to blame. Man trying to aim. Man selling grain. <laughs> Where are you from, actually? I'm from New Zealand. Nueve? Uh, well, I don't know why I keep on trying to say it in Spanish as well. Um, I'm from New Zealand. Woman on a train. A man goes insane to fight for her name. I feel like we've exhausted the um, the direct, perfect rhymes. Man spontaneously explodes. <laughs> he looks high and I love it. Do I? I think I just look a bit red. How about woman on train? Wow. Me wearing a wig. I'm Grant S. Or whatever uh, Grant's female equivalent would be. This is uh, breaking new creative Grant Grice. Grice, guys. See, I've already had way too much champagne. Okay. It's top up time. Where are we at, guys? Please. Tell me how everyone's spending their New Year's Eve. I'm going to bring it back again to a thank you for hanging out with me. This is really cool. Otherwise, I would be sitting at home by myself watching shit TV. And even though that sounds rather fun, this is way more fun. Hanging out with you lovely peeps. Okay, where are we? Man drinking champagne. See, that's a good one. The ideas create themselves. Have I seen the Limitless TV show? I, yeah, briefly saw it in order to uh, research for Unlimited. I prefer the film. 
Um, I got two dislikes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been a tough year. I understand. I understand why people be feeling like this. Only, why do boys make girls sad? Can't possibly answer that. I'm, I don't know. Um, what does the fox say? What the fox say? I haven't heard that in ages. There needs to be an ASMR video of that. I'm sure it's very triggering. I turn my WhatsApp off. What the fuck say? What are people listening to? Who are people listening to these days? Please. I love uh, all the new ASM artists springing up every day. In 2021, who of you in the chat is going to be the new big ASM artist? Please let me know. There's always someone. Why have we never made ASMR of what does the fox say? I don't know, but let's do it, please. Please. What the fox say? Um, I know, that song was huge. Where did it go? Um... <laughs> Jodie Marie. Okay, 20 before the stream even starts. Yes, but that's how you know that you're popular. <laughs> D dislikes are, um, it's funny because uh, since, you know, I've been lucky enough that a couple of videos have been recommended to uh, a wider range of people. It's interesting the sort of, um, some of the, the, the negative comments that come in. Totally not used to it. It's good fun. MK, be careful what you wish for. Are we still talking about what does the fox say? Because I wish for that uh, with all of my heart. That is my 2021 wish. Um, Sage needs to be up there with Shani. I completely agree. Where is, is Sage here? And also Mia. Thank you so much for the donation. Happy New Year from South Korea. It's 6.43 a.m. and I just woke up because of a nightmare. I love all of your works, especially the train. Oh, I'm very sorry about the nightmare. I um, hope you get back to sleep if that's what you're wanting to do. But otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll leave you join our Discord collab tomorrow. We can freestyle. What does the fox say? Let's let's freestyle it now. Um. JJ Supreme. I love uh, Made in France. I assume. his videos are on another level too. Um, if anyone hasn't seen Made in France ASMR, and I'm sure there might be only a few people who haven't, Made in France ASMR is um, on another level. I think people sometimes accuse me of making cinematic ASMR. His stuff. Oh. Sen Bloody Sational. Please check him out. Um. Atlas, I wish you were straight. Because <laughs> I would let you be my wife's boyfriend. Yeah. I found you through James Matthew. I'm in love with your stuff. Also, if anyone hasn't seen uh, my friend James Matthew ASMR, he's a, I say new ASMR artist. He probably started about six or seven months ago. Um... So I guess he's sort of new in the same sense that I'm new. Um, but his stuff is fantastic. So please check out James Matthew as well. Do you have any New Year's resolutions apart from meeting the amazing CC when COVID dies? Well, apart from that, um, I am one who uh, doesn't necessarily like to sort of set himself things that he uh, knows that he might. Okay, how do I, how do, how do I word this properly? No. It's a simple answer. I have not yet thought about it. I know I just sort of generally want to sort of, you know, make better things, be a better person, be a better friend, be a better... All these things. But I'm not short of um, self-motivation. So I don't need to necessarily set myself sort of uh, uh, goals in this respect, I don't think. Maybe. I'll let you know. 
Can you invite yourself along to the meet when this all ends? Jody, yes, of course. I would love to meet you, Jody. That would be so cool. <laughs> that would be really cool. Alicia, happy new year. Thank you for your hard work. Lots of love. Thank you so much for the donation. And thank you for coming. Um, hey, I say, have you ever thought about making a video as a bartender? I think it could be cool. Uh, yes. And, uh, Neko, my new video is, um, not quite a bartender, but it's set at a bar. So, yeah. I think you'll find it similar-ish to a bartender roleplay. Rachel, I am meeting you at the airport. You know. You know that I am. Lucy will die, and Amy will die, and everyone that I love. But that is everyone that I love. Lucy and Amy and Rachel, please don't die on me. What is your opinion on Boris Johnson? Um... Hard to believe I only found your channel a few weeks ago. Incredibly grateful for your talents and unique style. Here's to even more success in 2021. Thank you very much, Alicia Brown. Very kind of you to say. Um, yeah, 2021, I think, will be really, really cool. For the channel, for ASMR generally, for um, my, my friends in the chat, all of whom are producing amazing stuff. Really, really, really cool stuff. If anyone hasn't seen um, Rachel's recent Knights of Havoc video, Please do. It's hilarious. If um, and really enjoyed being a part of it. If anyone hasn't seen um, Lucy's Nigella Lawson roleplay, it just made my entire life. As did her stream last night. Um, if anyone hasn't checked out Jodie Marie ASMR, please do. Amy K, please do. Um. Max Storyteller, Anastasia from Atmosphere. She's awesome. Cinematic ASMR. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it will come as no surprise to people who uh, have followed my channel and uh, and who may know my answer to some of these questions already, that I'm a big fan of Atmosphere. I think that she does the, um, the cinematic thing very well indeed. Very well indeed. Um, hey Atlas, I'm glad you healed from the gunshot wound. I hope the rest of the train ride was enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, it was. Thank you very much. Just another human, can you give us a shout out? Ladies and gentlemen, this is a shout out for just another human, 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 human. Ra uh, Raquel, is there an aesthetic that you haven't done that you want to do in a video? Yes, all of them. Um, Roscoe's wetsuit. I know a lot of people don't like their voices, so I wanted to ask, do you think your voice is relaxing? No. Like everyone in the world, I hate my own voice. Opinions on BBC Sherlock. Love it. Um, stream was class, and thanks for the shout-out. Are you heading off, Jody? Well, thank you very much for coming. For spending time with me in the last three hours of this year we've got two hours to go in england until um oh yeah uh cc's asked me to make some ugly faces so you can screenshot me and zoom in sure are you screenshotting screenshot did you screenshot that one i don't know how to uh it's arrogant of me to say. Don't know how to make ugly face. Screenshot it all, Lucy. Um, when was the first time you remember getting ASMR? This was when my grandfather read to me a fairy tale book. When I was like three or so, which might make some sense of my Christmas video. Tell stories about the things you know, etc. You make me want to open my champagne now. It's almost 4 p.m. in Texas. Please do, and please make sure it's better than this. I'm sorry to keep on dissing you, little glass of Prosecco. You're my favorite. You're my favorite, really. What would I do without you on the last night of 2020? Hmm? Hmm. Um, that was weird. Uh... I just tuned in an atlas and make some weird faces. Yeah, you can thank Creative Karma ASMR for that one. Um, 
Yes, Lucy's stream. Jodie Marie. It was good crack. Very good crack. It went on for four hours. I can barely think about streaming for one and a half. I have no idea how long we've been going for. I mean, it's, it's, it's incredible. Oh, we've been going for one hour and 15 minutes. Time flies when you're a bit pissed, huh? And we've still almost got 300 viewers. This is pretty cool. Um, any Comrade Joker, thank you very much for asking a question. Any future plans for your wonderful ASMR channel? I typically don't think more than a sort of couple of weeks ahead because sort of uh, plans probably need to be reactive with oh, what else is going on and what else is just in my brain. And um, so I don't tend to plan that far in advance. Uh, but I've got loads and loads and loads of ideas. And um, we'll just see. Nas on Gash. Thank you very much for, <laughs> for the donation. Message retracted. Jack, you've nailed it. I've seen another one of the messages. Being baptised by Atlas, the Pope ASMR. Pardon me. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. I don't want to uh, make anything too polarising, which I think making a, a religious-themed ASMR could be. But um, but who knows? Again, never say never. Dennis, have I ever been to the States? Yes, I've been to New York a handful of times. Uh, I've been lucky enough to go for, for work um, a, a few times. And I've been to LA. But I haven't actually been anywhere else in the States. I would love to. I would love to at some point. When the world can travel again. Um, hey Atlas, what is your sexual orientation? Fair enough. I am straight. Identify as straight, I guess. I guess that's what my line would be these days. Would you ever collab with Jojo ASMR? Uh, yeah, I don't really know Jojo. I um, have seen a few of his videos. I would say that our videos aren't that similar in content. So I'm not sure if we would be a natural fit. But I'm up for collabing with anyone. Literally anyone. Mandalorian ASMR. I think that would be tough, considering a lot of them are in helmets or aliens. And I think that being in a helmet would give you the, uh, the eye contact. That, that, I think, is important to a lot of role-playing. What nationality, what nationality are you? Well, I'm a sort of white Caucasian from New Zealand. Um, how do you feel? <laughs> okay, well, I'll finish reading that but I'll refute it immediately. How do you feel being an ASMR heartthrob? I don't think that I am. Um, when, are, when am I coming to Seattle? Asks Crinkle Love and ASMR. As soon as I bloody am able. I'll be there in a heartbeat. Seriously, when, um, when everything calms down a bit, I would love to, to come and meet some of my uh, American brethren. Top of the list for being Crinkle Love and ASMR. What things have you accomplished in life that I'm most proud of? A great many things. Uh, I have a list of them. But, um... Maybe that's for another stream. I'm proud of this channel. This can be one of my 2021s. I'm very proud of what we've done here. I say we, because you guys are very much, you know... If it was just me, it would be a very different thing. TB26 ASMR, if you ever come to Chicago, we'll go pub jumping. Let's do it. Do you get any stalkers? No. I would say on balance, not really. Not compared to some. Um, let's put a mini mic inside of the mask. Rowan, hello. I, I'm not sure if I've said hello to you yet, but, but thank you very much for coming to watch me. Um, and chat. Uh, yes, Mini Mike, I, I, I know that in terms of audio, it could be achieved, uh, the Mandalorian thing, but I just think that, you know, the mask, I don't know, I don't know how engaging a lot of people would find it if, if they don't see a human face, because a lot of the work that I do in my, I guess you would call it, call it my uh, IRL job, um, is, you know, posters and promotional design, we love putting faces on stuff. 
people love connecting with faces, and I think that's particularly true of ASMR. Um, and I do not doubt that uh, in terms of an audio-visual experience, a mask-wearing video would be fun. I'm just not sure it would be as human and as relatable. But what? who knows? Probably talk out my ass. Collab with Made in France. I would love to. That would be up the very tippy top of uh, the list of people that I would um, would be my dream collabs. Made in France ASMR. I, I, I don't necessarily want to speak for him, so please forgive me. Um, he, I believe, has dreams to make an ASMR feature-length film at some point, which I think is a fantastic dream. And uh, it's not currently one of my dreams, but I, uh, I would love to support him in that, however much I can. I think I've been sort of... Uh, <laughs> I've, I think I've sort of fallen into... Uh, cinematic ASMR as a genre and it's not really an intentional uh, niche that I've necessarily sort of put myself into because th in my head that's not necessarily what I make but I think that it's really cool I think it's a really cool idea that many people ASMR Weekly uh, made in France, you know, the, the, these people who, who have these dreams to create very sort of cinematic content. Um, you know, I love it. I think it's amazing. And I want to get behind that and support that as much as I can. Um, Jack. <laughs> yeah, okay. Listen to Jack, everyone. If you want to get your questions answered, make your sentence as long as you can. It's, it's worked for him three times now. I can guarantee after two times trying, he will react. Jack's cracked it. Crinkle Lovin says on Discord, we are watching Ollie. You're going to multitask. Yeah, do feel free to join. Hayley? Okay. <clears throat> Alec... Yes, Axel Yonder. I have to ask, is there a chance we could see a sequel to The Gentleman? I recently discovered that video and fell in love with it. Could definitely make a great series. 2021, baby. The Gentleman 2. It is coming. Towards your ears. I was going to say into your ears, but let's just say towards. Let's just say towards. Hey, Tony. The accent on my latest video is so whack. I'm, I'm really struggling with it. Please, please go easy on me when you see it. Nick, hello, Nicola. Be brave, be you, ASMR. Are you sure you're not British? I am. <laughs> I am. I've lived in London for seven years, so I, I don't doubt at all that, um, that there are certain Britishisms that have uh, rubbed off on me. Again, that sounds overly sexual. But uh, that, uh, yeah, there are certain sort of accent affectations that I'm sure I have adopted. How long have I lived in the UK? About seven years. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how much time does it take to make your videos? Uh, it sort of depends. Some videos are really quick. Made, uh, what was it called? Not made in France. Man on Train it was obscenely quick um, to make. I did one take. I, I put a background in it. I say background, I mean I composited it. And um and it was out. Sign. Sign as my sex god. Seb, looking stunning, my man. Thank you so much for coming. Mate. I hope you're really, really well and having a fantastic New Year's Eve. Pardon me. Um Okay. Well, now you've got me all hyped up. Yeah, without wanting to give too much away about The Gentleman 2, and uh, in case you haven't noticed, Cyan ASMR, who plays Trevor Sharp in The Gentleman, um, will also, hopefully, if he agrees to, um, be featuring in, gen in The Gentleman 2. Um, please agree to. You can have your own trailer and everything. Um, but yeah, The Gentleman 2 will feature, feature the OG gang, as well as some... Um, Special new additions, which I'm very excited to be able to tease 
at some point. Oopsie daisy. Haley, hello. Thank you very much for coming. And um, see, Jack, you've revolutionized the chat for people. Nikolai says, can you please read this comment to test and see if Jack's advice truly is worth the time to type out a comment to grab your attention and see how you read it out loud? I've been hacked. So wise. Okay, what are we doing? Um, you're wearing a suit right now too, Seb. Bang. Here we are. SC. What does that mean? Um, Andrew, you've been in the UK for seven years. Where are you from, if you wouldn't mind me asking? New Zealand. I lived in New Zealand until I was 23. Then I moved to the UK. And I've lived here for the past seven years. Are you going to develop a catchphrase in 2021? Because it's needed, to be honest. Asks Creative Calm. I was thinking of, yeah, baby. How about that? Is that taken? Um, can Tinglesmith be included in The Gentleman too? That is a very good question. To be honest, I, I'm such a fan of Tinglesmiths. I, um, I, I, I love Tinglesmith. I want him to collaborate with me always. <laughs> um, so, hey, who knows? Um, okay, where are we? One of us, one of us. Why are you asking to see everyone's hands? Were my hands fine? No one got back to me. Everyone said that my palm line going straight across meant that I would die. And I know that that's appropriate for my channel. So maybe you just have to live and die on the sword that is your art. I would never call this my art, by the way. I'm being facetious. Um, you're in a Discord call right now. Sign, can you get off, please, and pay me your full attention? I thank you. Um, Neko, I feel like you've said let's go a bit. That's so true. <laughs> my catchphrase for this channel definitely has to be let's go. Which is bizarre, considering I never say it in real life. Uh, wait, Haley, are we talking about my hands or are we talking about other people's hands? Because I still don't know. I just don't know what the review on my hands are. I'm very concerned. Uh, Why do I feel like I'm watching something from Jane Austen? I couldn't possibly tell you. Um, I have wise hands. Is it my hands? Are you going to explain my hands in Discord? See, Raquel, I, I agree that it's bizarre to see someone with this straight line. I'm convinced it means I'm dying. Anyway. Nancy. Uh... I'm not going to read that out loud, Nancy. But I can see what you've said. Elon Musk roleplay. Really? <laughs> Am I an Elon Musk sort of guy? Hayley, yes, all your hands are brilliant. Thank you. It's all I needed. It's the last couple of hours of 2020. I need something positive. Um... Do you happen to be double jointed at all? I don't think so. Crispy icon. Ever thought about working with Fred's voice ASMR? I'm winking at the camera. If you couldn't tell. Um. Blessed up. You are awesome, man. Thank you, blessed up. You are awesome too. Um. Yes, I will read these things that you put in the chat if they're like more than five lines long. You're smashing it. Do you know when you will upload another video? I love your content and every video is better than the last. Very kind of you to say. Yes, I will be uploading a video in the next few days. And actually, let's see if I can tease it. Can I tease it? This is the question. I am going to ding, ding, take a screenshot of the thing that's on my screen. 
And I'll see if I can flash up the screenshot. Oh, you heard it here first, peeps. This is it. Can people see that? <laughs> this is it. This is the thing. Do you like it? <laughs> I think I look like a massive dog. Oh no, it's gradually taking over. No. This is it. I won't tease any more than this photo, but you can see that it looks like there are some bar snacks present. Mm. What are these bar snacks going to be, I wonder? Will they perhaps be pistachios? Let's zoom in on these bar snacks here. Mm. Oh yeah. Tasty. Those nuts look good. What else have we got here? We've got an orange. We've got a measuring jiggy thing. We've got a man who is awkwardly pinned a rose to a white tuxedo. And we've got Atlas with so much gel in his hair. Like, so much. But there we are. Looks a bit serious. Anyway, that's that. Far too much excitement for one stream. The excitement being that I've realized that I know how to drop photos into it now. Wow. Why can't I look like that guy? Why do I have to look like a little, little tomato? I'm joking. Okay. You're coming over from ASMR Jeremiah's stream. Wait. ASMR Jeremiah's streaming? Why is anyone here? Please. Please, 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 I implore everyone here to leave my stream immediately and go to ASMR and Jeremiah's. ASMR and Jeremiah is an absolute gem. And his content's incredible. Please check him out. Okay. Um, Whispering Joe. Hey, Whispering Joe's here. Well, 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 well. Hello, young Whispering Joe. Everybody, please say hello to our young Whispering Joe, who has joined the stream. Okay, where are we? Sorry, I was too busy sort of dragging this photo around. I got too distracted. Um, I, don't, I guess he doesn't need to be on screen, but I might keep him there for a while longer. Um, Amy's still here. Guys, Amy K. <laughs> See, people are saying, hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. For those who don't know, Whispering Joe wrote, uh, Where the Ducks Go, which, in my opinion, is one of the finest videos on my channel, mainly because of the source material. So, please, if you haven't seen it, check it out. He's a fantastic writer and a very dear friend. Um, there's a handprint on the window. Which window? How is Miguel? Alethea asks, Whispering Joe, please, we'd love to hear an update on Miguel. Um, <clears throat> you look Indian descent, are you? I'm not Indian descent at all, to be honest. But I'll uh, give you that I look somewhat swarthier in that than I currently do under this very uh, interesting lighting that I've set up. He calls himself a photographer, eh? Could you put let's go in your channel description? <laughs> Neko, I quite like this. I quite like this. This let's go catchphrase. You don't realize these things until you until they're pointed out to you. Are you actually British because you actually look handsome? Wow, that uh, sentence took a bit of a, a fun twist and turn. Um, thanks, I'm not British. But thank you. Atlas, how do you feel that you've made some money in this stream? Uh, 
it's a it's a good strategy. Uh, yeah, I, I grateful, grateful, I guess, and only slightly awkwardly bashful. A Greek descent, I think. Uh, if you go really far back, I've got I've got Greek in me. Yeah. Um. Okay, guys, we've asked me so so many questions. I want to hear how you are. This stream has turned out to be all about me, which I understand because I'm the one on the screen. But really, I wanted to do it because I wanted to chat to you lovely people and make sure that you lovely people were having a really enjoyable New Year's Eve. More dunk though, Creative Calm says. <laughs> are you feeling better, Creative Calm? Are you alive? I'm going to take this off the stream, off the, can I just press delete? No. How do I get rid of this? Get out. Remove. Okay. Hey, we are good at technology. Good at technology. ASMR Jeremiah is here. Um, how was your stream, ASMR Jeremiah? I told everyone to join it, but then they told me that you would finish streaming, which I think is an absolute travesty. Completely casual ASMR, you sexy bastard. Happy New Year. Completely casual ASMR, thank you so much for joining. Love you to bits, my friend. Happy New Year. Oh, Happy New Year's Eve. Um, you're drinking through the pain, as you a blimmin' well should be, Lucy. Uh, my my head's been hurting, so a little ASMR is very welcome right now, Brady Ann. Well, I'm very sorry that I haven't been particularly uh, well, paying much attention to me being really soft-spoken, because I've just sort of been half-yelling. I know, it's the, it's the last one and a half hours almost of, of 2020. Good fucking riddance, you know. <clears throat> Lily Wright, you are so cool. <laughs> oh, thank you, it's far too kind. I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, just, a, just a little dog, I promise you. Holy heavens, you're so talented and adorable. It's just, ah, very, very, very kind. Are you Taika Waititi related? I'm not. <clears throat> Um, I can't wait to eat the frozen grapes at 12. Is this a thing or an expression that I'm missing? Rachel, can we hug? Are you talking to me? Or are you talking to someone else? Because we could sort of do a, a virtual hug, if you like. Amy K, I am giving out hugs, if we're still talking about me. <laughs> yeah, let's have a hug. In fact... I dare say, oh, there are more fireworks outside. This is, everything is going on. All cylinders are firing. This is the most exciting possible night. I hope energy's up, he said in a very non-ASMR way. Ollie, please explain your Christmas tree topper. Well, I don't actually want to uh, give a face reveal to my friend on the tree, because he hasn't given his permission. But that is me and my flatmate forming the Christmas tree star. Which, depending on how you look at, depending on how you look at it, is either really, 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 really adorable, or fucking weird. Hug. Okay. I was gonna say I could just hug the webcam, but on uh, reflection, I think that would be strange. I keep forgetting sometimes that I'm talking to. Uh, a few people and they you know maybe a few of those people don't want me reaching across the computer to hug a webcam like a weirdo but you don't want to overthink these things you know Jack thank you very much for coming your name of course shall go down in history as the person who cracked the Atlas comments oh Iman you're trying to get me to hug the camera it is the best tree topper ever See, Caleb, it would be so weird. Red Wolf is here. Red Wolf is here, everyone. Thank you so much for coming, my friend. Happy New Year. ASMR Jeremiah. (laughs) 
I'm beginning to feel a little merry. There you go. This is what tonight's all about. Bearded Audio ASMR. Hello, Ian. Thank you very much for joining. Dropping in real quick to wish you a happy new year. Thank you for making me laugh and blowing my mind this year. <laughs> Thank you too, mate, for helping me out with so, so, so many audio issues. You're a legend. Love you to bits. Um, <sighs> can we get some hugs the ring style? Wouldn't that be cool? If in 2021 I invented it, well, I don't know if this would be cool to come through your, your monitor. That actually sounds very frightening. Let's not entertain that idea. Sarah Pierce, are you gay? No. I'm happy gay. Happy, but I'm not, um, I'm not homosexual. No, I'm straight. I feel like I've answered that a few times in this stream. <laughs> it's a fair enough question to ask. Um, how are your videos so professionally produced? You're honestly one of the few people who innovates in ASMR. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that, I mean, thank you very much for the for the compliment. I would say that there are people who, who innovate constantly in ASMR. And I would say that I'm really just following the example set by, by many, many, many more talented creators. Um, and and indeed that I'm not really doing anything uh, particularly new, you know. I'm just doing I'm just doing my own thing with my own eye. Um, but but uh, I I'm certainly just I'm, I'm sort of just standing on the shoulders of, of of giants really. But thank you so much for the compliment. Um, what kind of wine are we drinking tonight? Very very good question, Caleb. Um, it's I Heart Prosecco. And if that doesn't sound like a premium, expensive Prosecco brand, then I don't know what does. Don't know if I recommend, to be honest. But, you know, you got to send uh, 2020 off in the best way possible. Um... <laughs> Wow, yes, love the white suit, reminds me of Jared Leto. Yeah, actually, it's got a bit of a Jared Leto vibe. Um, you've got a lot of people people's hopes up. <laughs> Nikolai, I'm very sorry. Um, Jeremiah, all of my friends are here. I love you, mate. You've been a fantastic uh, discovery this year. I'm going to reiterate this to uh, all the people in the chat. I think that ASMR, Jeremiah's... Uh, Videos are very, very worth a check out. And follow him on Twitch too. He streams all the time. Very, very, very good ASMR. Impossible Albatross. Atlas, you are a legend. Thank you very much. Uh, Atlas, you're way too humble. <laughs> Atlas, your videos are top notch. I know that you're using a green screen, but you really can't tell. Are you a pro at lighting? Um, I think... Uh, <laughs> I think that um, I... Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the skills that I've uh, been able to very easily transfer from my photography background. Um, lighting is something that I uh, enjoy and I think that it's a really easy... I say easy. It's it's something that once you sort of work out the kinks of it, and don't get me wrong, I'm by no means like a pro, 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 pro at lighting. I just have lighting states that I really like. And and I think that lighting really elevates. I mean, you can have a crap camera. But if you light things really, really, really well, then, um, then things, uh, it just really elevates content, I think. And some of my favorite videos that I like to watch, everyone has different preferences are things that are lit really creatively. And I think that a lot of the people in this chat, like um, like Crinkle Lovin' and uh, and Creative Calm and Upsy Daisy and uh, Completely Casual and uh, Jeremiah and Amy Kay, you know, all, all, and, you know, all the people in, in, in this chat that I've been watching the videos of. In fact, you know, all the ASMRs in here that I've seen, I enjoy the content of regularly, all have really, really sick lighting. And I think it's just one of these things that if you invest time into learning about it, 
if you invest time, if you invest money into lights, and they don't need to be expensive lights, you can literally just buy, you know, wall lamps and stick certain things over them, etc., and point them at different walls and whatever. Then it just makes a massive, 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 massive difference. So yeah, that's something that I really like doing. SUNY Shore City has donated uh, some money. Thank you so much. Happy New Year. Here's to cheap wine. Happy New Year to you too. Thank you very much for joining me. It's really cool. All right. Love you, Jay. Thanks very much for coming. Um, okay. You can give mood only by lighting. Uh, <laughs> Crystal Ball ASMR. Happy New Year, Ollie. You're a pro and an ASMR innovator, you bloody humble twat. <laughs> thank you so much. You're a legend. Um, and thank you so much for being a supporter of mine for most of this year. It's really cool. Uh, yeah. Lighting guys is, um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's, it's very easy to be broken down. I, I would say something that I do like to, um, I'm, I'm hesitant to say this is a tip because it would assume advanced knowledge on my part, but I think that there, there, there's a trick that I like to employ with some of my, my videos, which is making sure this might seem sort of rudimentary for a lot of people, but making sure that you know what motivates the lighting in your scene. And this applies to if you are shooting on a green screen, which many of the people who role play in the ASMR community do. I.e. an example of this is that if your green screen is behind you, let's say this is your scene and you have a window right here, you have a window right here, then in simple terms, you want to put a light right here. And therefore it always pays thinking about your backdrop or your background or the world that you're in in advance so that you can light accordingly. And when your lighting makes sense with the scene, the background, then all of a sudden you've created something that looks like it could be real. Pardon me. Okay, Nancy Ives. Happy New Year. You're one of the good things from this year. Yes. You are too. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a supporter of mine on Patreon, Patreon etc. as well. Very, very, very kind. Complete casual, gotta run. Happy New Year, buddy. Happy New Year to you too. Creative calm, more drink. I'm getting there. Oh. We're doing well, guys. We're doing well. I appreciate how genuine and nice this community is. It makes you feel like a family. You know what? It certainly feels like a family. A strange family. But a family nonetheless. Um, what are some other films, TV shows you'd like to do videos based off? Um, plenty, plenty. I'm, I'm, I'm never precious about my ideas really, because I think that ideas, um, you know, if, if, if you're in this, if you're in this gig, you, you've probably got, you know, loads and loads of them. Um, but I, I don't want to give things away in case I set expectations that I don't live up to. You know what I mean? I don't want to, I don't want to say, hey, I'm going to do a so-and-so thing, inspired thing. And then for people to go, oh, oh, where's that thing? Because you, basically my tastes change constantly. Um, but hey, I'll let, I'll, I'll let you know if they come out. Um, are you a spring, summer, fall or winter person? I am a summer person. Very much so. Very much a summer person. And I love spring because it heralds the excitement that summer will bring. What a bizarre rhyme. Um, bearded audio, dude, it seems like common sense to plan lighting, but it's not. I understand that it's not a priority for people. Like, a, oh, fireworks. I, und I understand why, uh, why some people don't really uh, care. And, and that's fine, you know. A lot of people have way better audio than me. 
a lot of people can role play so much better than me. A lot of people just are naturally calming. It's just lighting is is one of these things that I really enjoy. So that's probably going to be a focus. But it's no discredit to anyone who wants to, who doesn't give a crap. Because at the end of the day, some of my most tingly, you know, favorite ASMR videos aren't particularly sort of visually well produced. They don't need to be necessarily. Um, please sing a little song, thanks. No. Sorry. Maybe. No, I don't even want to say maybe. I sing a little song in my next video. Just a little one, though. Um, uh, I've got a friend from Australia, and yet I feel I forget that they're nearly a day ahead of me. Yes, all my family in New Zealand have obviously been wishing me a uh, very happy new year for, you know, the past 24 hours now. 24? No, 12. Wait, what am I talking about? Yeah, 12. <laughs> a summer, baby. Um, <laughs> could I do a medieval ASMR? Such uh, ventures, I think, are better placed in the domain of Jim Chi. He was fantastic at these sort of medieval things. Again, I'll never say never. Maybe, maybe one day. Um, but the things in my list, on my list in the in the near future, are. Uh, I don't know how to describe them collectively. They're many and varied. But we'll see. We'll see what transpires. Um, Jack, I'm still seeing your messages, buddy. You've cracked it. Just another human. I think your opinion of yourself is pretty low. It's better than being cocky, but still, you are better than you believe yourself to be. Now, I think this might uh, require maybe a more nuanced answer than I can possibly provide after a bottle and a half of Prosecco. But it is in my nature to be self-deprecating. It is not necessarily read as low self-esteem. I back myself plenty. It's not to say I don't stress out and hate... <laughs> The things that I create, but it's all motivation to push myself to create things that I will like. And you know, in in other areas of my life, I have uh, you know get closer to achieving things that I'm happy with. But uh, this sort of eternal dissatisfaction in me with the things that I make, I don't view as a crutch necessarily. Don't worry, I'm not I'm not uh, unkind to myself. Um. And I don't like self-esteem. And I don't like confidence. But I will always make sure to check myself, I think. Because I, I don't fundamentally believe that I'm uh, any better than anyone else. And I also uh, don't believe that I uh, yet have uh, achieved things that I, that I want to do. So, uh, yeah. I always, always want to temper yourself. You know? Um... <clears throat> uh, speaking of the next video Bearded Audio You have a Super 5 Using it as a prop Or in addition to the usual stereo setup uh, to, y You'll have to see it's, it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of a spoiler I'll have to talk to you separately about this I think Because I'm planning on doing a bit of uh, trickery with that What's a great microphone for around $100 Bless it up Says I would say probably a second-hand Blue Yeti, if you're planning on getting into ASMRs. ASMRs. Um, but it really depends what you're going to use it for, because you can get really, really cheap shotgun mics if you want to use it for filmmaking, or you can get, uh, you know, like dynamic mics and whatever are really cheap as well. Pardon me. Um... What have you accomplished in life that you're the most proud of? I think I've seen this question a few times and I still uh, don't really necessarily have a, have a very good answer for it because uh, I'm, I'm 
proud of loads of stuff and I don't know really if I have a number one. And I would say that the that the few sort of number one accomplishments in my life that relate to my profession, I probably won't share on here because they're sort of, you know, needing to be kept on the down low, I think, possibly. Nancy, there's unlimited coming back. It will do, eventually. I mean, I'm just, I, I get excited by so many new projects just on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm like sort of chasing a butterfly. I get so easily distracted. Um, it's a blessing and a curse, that temperament, my friend. I'm the same way. Um, I assume we're talking about self-deprecation. And, you know, I, I, I wouldn't be, uh, I... I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. Uh, if you didn't become an ASM artist, what would your career or passion be? Do you think your life would be just as good now? Just a thought, asks Harbazar. Um, I, I mean, ASMR is one of my many passions, and it's certainly not my career. Um, so, and there are there are plenty of things that I want to explore. I want to uh, keep doing this channel because I really, really, really enjoy doing it. And I'm going to keep on learning things and pushing myself to discover new things in graphic design and photography and audio. The thing, the amazing thing with YouTube, the amazing thing with having a YouTube channel is that it's a blend of um, so many different disciplines, all of which can be improved on constantly. It's a blend of videography, obviously. It's a blend of audio and audio engineering. And these two things are obviously infinite. So many, so many different things to pursue. But also graphic design, you know, creating the thumbnails and the graphics in the video. Also animation, the things that, you know, I sometimes like to do sort of motion graphics and animation sort of stuff. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, you know, even things like copywriting, even things like marketing, even things like brand management, even things like, you know, it just an, an incredibly diverse range of uh, skills you could you could be uh, learning at any one time as a YouTuber. So it's really a fantastic little little sandbox. Um, hey Atlas, I wondered what the inspirational collab inspired on. I've noticed that I'm afflicted by most of those symptoms. Is there a particular mental disease I should look up for? Well, I uh, should very much note that I'm not a trained professional psychiatrist, counsellor, therapist at all. So I don't feel qualified to advise on anything regarding mental diseases. I assume you're talking about the You Got This video with Tippy Tappy and Sign. And the inspiration for that was just making something a little bit sort of uh, wholesome for the right at the beginning of lockdown, right at the beginning of the COVID uh, period, sort of March, April, when people were struggling and everyone felt isolated and disconnected, and we wanted to sort of put out a message. And uh, you know, it was my first time not doing story readings, and I just wanted to throw something out there. But it's not intended as medical advice, so I, I would recommend that um, you talk to someone that, that that isn't me about that. But I hope I've on some way to answering your question. Jakos. Jakos. Jakos? I assume you have another job in real life. What is the job? I am a graphic designer slash photographer slash creative director type. Happy New Year's from Greece, Atlas. You are such a great and professional ASM artist, but you're massively underrated. Stay safe. Thank you, Kane Plays. Very kind. Um, do I have a stain on my shirt? If anyone who thinks this is a stain on my shirt, this is in fact a necklace. Pendant or whatever people say it is. Atlas, how long do you plan on doing ASMR? I don't know. I don't know. Do, do people have... Um, do, do people have sort of life lifespans in, in, in mind for their channel? I don't know. I'm going to do ASMR for as long as it uh, is... is uh, is rewarding for me, is rewarding for my audience, is uh, just an appropriate thing for me to be doing. I I don't know. I'm really enjoying it now. Alice, just letting you know that your New Year vid has no audio. <laughs> 
is this this video or is this the last stream that I tried to do? Because that would be funny. Yeah, I'm just going to delete all of those. Delete forever. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Done. Bang. Deleted. Thanks. Um, just another human. I will remember this stream for the rest of my life. Thank you for making the end of 2020 magical. Thank you for keeping me company while I'm in this house by myself. That's really cool. All right. Cece, is that a giant rose? Yes. It's several roses and they're not giant. They're just normal roses. Oh, more fireworks. Prosecco and a show. Um, Atlas, Juicy Clove. Your ASMR is amazing. You're easily the freshest creator with the most interesting style out there. <laughs> Enough sucking up. Happy New Year. That's very kind. Very kind of you to say. Um, just keeping it fresh since whenever I was born. I'd like to take this moment again to uh, say thank you to everyone who's come. All the newbies who have come. Uh, really, really cool. We've been streaming for about two hours now. Two hours and two minutes. And I didn't intend to stream tonight. This is very much a spur of the moment thing. Just to uh, keep people company. Particularly, I mean, wherever in the world you are. But I think in the UK, a lot of us are in, are in lockdown. I know it's similar across Europe. I'm not entirely sure where the, what the situation is across you know everyone who might be watching the stream. But it's currently almost an hour away from midnight on New Year's Eve 2020. And I just thought it might be a nice idea just to check in and say, you know, you're not alone if you're hanging out by yourself at home. Because this guy is... <laughs> So thank you very much. This is really cool. And a thank you, a huge thank you too. If you uh, have, well, if, if you're on the stream, I assume that you are either subscribed to my channel, <laughs> or know who I am, or watch my content. And that is massive for me. And my channel started at the beginning of this year. And um, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy that people watch this stuff. So, you're my faves. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Maury. <laughs> I don't know why I tried to do Maury and ended up doing Bojack. Maury. I need to learn how to do my Maury impression. All right. Um... Where are we? You've still got six more hours of 2020 in the States. Wish us luck. It's been a toughie, but I think we'll get through it. I think we will. I think we will. You've got this. What's my catchphrase again? Where's Neko? Can't remember what my catchphrase is. Brian and Rodriguez, thank you so much for the donation. Please never stop reading to us. Your voice is smooth like good rum or whiskey. Also, sparkling water is better than tap water. Yes. You are. After my own heart, you are. Lots of love from Puerto Rico. And Happy New Year. Thank you so much. Lots of love. Lots of burping as well. All right. Um, where are we? Lizzie Blue, sending lots of love and good vibes from Australia. It's a bright sunny day. I cannot hear this. I'm really glad. But <laughs> I know it's a bright sunny day in Australia. And I know it's a bright sunny day in New Zealand. Because I have friends and family in Australia and New Zealand messaging me photos of this bright sunny day. And it is negative one all day in London. And it is making me want to tear my hair out. But jokes aside, Lizzie, I hope you have the best sunny day. 
Nala, Atlas, thank you so much for your amazing content throughout the year and this stream too. It kept me in a lot of company this year and I hope you have a great start in the new year. I hope you have a fantastic start in the new year too. I'm very sorry that my content sort of, oh, somewhat sorry, that I, you know, my content sometimes, I don't release a lot of videos. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Um, it's not for lack of wanting to. It's simply because uh, they just take me a lot of time. Who knows if I will ever get to the stage where I can uh, streamline my workflow somewhat. <laughs> All right, where are we? Jade, I will not stand for this tap water slander. Well, Jade. Well. I don't currently have it. Oh, no, I do have sparkling water. Of course I do. It's in the fridge. Neko, it's let's go. Thank you very much. I needed to be reminded of my catchphrase for a second. Let's go. Um, all right. Jack. The big messages, everyone. CZ, do you have a dirty mind or a sexy imagination? I would say, charitably to myself, both. Cammy, asking this question again, it's clearly important to you. Have you ever drank the water from inside of a rose vase or vase if you're an uh, American? No. Is this a thing that people do? <laughs> Nancy, long span between vids because you're a perfectionist just a bit. Is that true though? Is it true? What a riddle. Um, Angry Water Gang rise up. Mr. Slender, man after my own heart, if you are indeed a man. I've inferred by the mister. Lower pain in my stomach now, Bridget. I'm very sorry. Please get it seen to. You're such an underrated ASM artist and I love your deep voice. Very kind. Everyone's being very, very kind in the chat today. I um I think, you know, to be, to be honest, I've had a I've had a very lucky run of things. I think uh, people have been, you know, I think YouTube and, and you lovely subscribers have been very kind to me this past couple of months so you know I feel very grateful I don't feel uh, I don't need any any more any more attention <laughs> I'm done <laughs> I'm happy with you lovely lot um where are we okay do you enjoy playing any musical instruments Noah in my time in my day I uh, played piano. I uh, I played piano from when I was about five. I learned saxophone as well, and I sing. But I wouldn't say that I play any instruments these days. Uh, okay, mm, Vincenzo Lombardi. Hey Atlas, happy New Year from Italy. I really appreciate the passion and commitment you put into your videos. Fireworks. Thank you. How old are you? I'm thirty. In four weeks, so let's say 29. <laughs> Why don't you just say your actual age? Why are you being such a dickhead about it? He said to himself, how long have you been living in Europe? Seven years. Do you like living here? If by Europe, if, I mean, I like living in London. I would happily live other places in Europe. The thought seems just bloody dreamy at the moment, to be honest being anywhere outside of this flat <laughs> sounds a-okay um <laughs> just another human do you have a ps5 no you know what you know what's the best part of me not having a ps5 um ephemeral rifts asmr for those who didn't get a ps5 it's so good man that's so good. Ephemeral Rift has to be, you know, and I'm going to speak to you like you're 
already not a bunch of ephemeral riff fans because let's be honest you know as far as male asmitis goes he's one of the bigger ones his latest uh ASMR for people who don't have a PS5 vid. It's so, it's peak ephemeral rift, and I'm here for it. I love it. Um, guys, loads and loads of compliments coming through, and congratulations. Just thank you so much. This is really, really kind. Um, pardon me. You and Ephemeral Rift honestly remind me so much of each other. You know what? I take that as something of a compliment. Because I think that, realistically, he and I produce quite different con- different sorts of content. But his creativity is uh, really something to be admired. So, yeah, that's a huge compliment, I think. Thank you. Um, Fiona. I can't believe you're still gabbing on, Ollie. Neither can I, Fiona. But thank you for being here. How long do you plan on having a Christmas tree up? I believe there is a tradition that is 12 days after Christmas Day. But to be honest, I want to for as long as I can until it dies. Because look at the ambience it gives the room. I keep forgetting that I'm a mirror image of myself. It's over there. Also, I should just know this. Because this is the hand that it's on. Um, Cece, will you paint your nails? Why? If someone painted my nails, but I wouldn't paint my own nails. The Darkometer. Collab with Atmosphere soon. That would be so much fun. (laughs) That would be really fun. We could create something really wild and wonderful and weird. But who knows if that will happen. I'm not sure if she's the collabing type. She's got a a real um, distinctive style. Um, Corn, do you ever think you'll try to create a universe in your videos like Rift does? Hard to say. Hard to say. To say, Lambda. Thoughts on Phoenician Sailor? Love him. Bloody love him. Phoenician Sailor was one of the first male ASMRists that made me go, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This this would be for me. I think that his, uh, his lighting and uh, visual uh, sort of uh, aesthetic and ambience is incredible. Really, really incredible. And the fact that he can do role plays that are longer than an hour (laughs) is astounding to me, considering I can barely blag for 15 minutes. The fact that Man on Train is half an hour was uh, incredibly surprising. Um, All right. Can you please do a collab with Ephemeral Rift? I want my two dads in the same vid. <laughs> I mean, I've I've never spoken to the guy, actually. I'm not sure that he's uh, the most social type. But, um, you know. Again, I'm up for collabs with anything and anyone. or Even a cat. CC. Even a cat. Um, the French Risp... The... the, 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 the the French Whisperer. I love the French Whisperer. I've listened to the French Whisperer's uh, Trojan War many, many, many times. He's very underrated, yes. Nice informative via some other videos about Lost City's history in the universe. And the most amazing French voice. You know, the French Whisperer. He sort of speaks in this range, you know. He's sort of, you know, nice. I don't want to do a French accent, you know, because it's like, you know... <laughs> He's incredible. All right. Philippe Rocha has asked for a quick fix of ASMR with a little mic scratching. Okay. Here we go. This is so not my thing. There you go. 
got five seconds of it. Um, yeah, notice your train ASMR video was so similar to Atmosphere's train vid. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, I took inspiration from basically every other ASMR train video that has ever been made. Um, I say inspiration. I sort of used them as research. To be honest, it wasn't atmosphere that um, that that made me think that it would be fun. It was Scottish murmurs, good old Loza, uh, who who produced a wonderful, I think, Orient Express train video. And I thought it was good fun. You know, I thought it was really, really good fun. And I was just like, yeah, actually, and and, and I loved it myself. I thought it was very, very atmospheric and very, very relaxing. And very very well produced so i looked at all other train videos including um you know including atmospheres including many other people and i uh, thought that i'd give my own one a crack i appreciate that it's victorian like atmospheres which is why it shares similarities and i did nod to atmosphere in the video um yeah okay Video game one is already touching the universe ground. <laughs> Thanks, I'll be the bear. Is that a compliment? I don't actually know what that means. Babzilla, who is your favorite character that you've played? Don't know if I have a favorite, sorry. I don't know if I have a favorite. I still have a real, emo a, like a sort of emotional connection to Alfie Strong from The Gentleman, considering that he was, in effect, my first role play that people watched, you know? And um, it was just such a fun experience. So, yeah. Uh, where are we? Brad, looking forward to your Flintlock sequel when he submarines his way to Atlantis. Uh, I'm trying to work out if that's a reference to um, to something like Bioshock, because I've never played Bioshock, so I don't actually know. But a lot of people said that my Flintlock video, uh, the Aeronaut, reminded them of Bioshock. Pardon me. Um. Okay, where are we? Okay, we're going to do another 10 or so minutes, which will then take us up to a two and a half hour stream. And I'm going to clock off. Um, all right. What necklace are you wearing? <laughs> this is called a Ponamu and is a uh, New Zealand jade. I wear it every day. Reminds me of home. Okay. Where are we? Good night, moon, articulate ASMR. Two other incredible, incredible roleplay channels. Articulate ASMR has been was one of my first friends in the ASMR community, and I can't speak highly enough of that man. And I don't actually know Goodnight Moon, as in we've never spoken. But um, I love her roleplays. I think that her Babel Brook series is incredible, and I think that. Um, you know, she's just so watchable, isn't she? She's incredible. Um, Peaky Blinders roleplay. I haven't seen Peaky Blinders, but uh, yeah, maybe at some point. Uh, oh my god, I loved your Alfie Strong too. That's my fave. Babzilla, more Alfie in the future. The Gentleman 2, 2021. You heard it here first. <laughs> um, Noah Burgess, Noah Burgess, Noah Burgess. So yeah, do you do ASMR as your profession? No, I do not. Uh, video reciting poems? Uh, possibly. I mean, it would be a, a low-fuss video to make, and I'm sure there's an audience for it. Um, but <laughs> this will sound selfish. But I want to create, there's long, long, long lists of videos that really excite me to make. 
and um, and they're usually quite sort of ambitious and teach me new things along the way. Um, not to say that a poetry video wouldn't do that, but I um, would need to think of a very cool vehicle to, to carry it, you know. So, again, never say never. And I do have a poetry video planned. Have I met any of my subscribers in real life? No, I haven't actually. Not yet, anyway. Um, love you young guys content. But I think a dad bod silver fox genre for you for your older female viewing audience. Yeah, fair enough. Would you do a meetup when COVID is over? When COVID is over, uh, yeah, I think if peeps wanted to, if we wanted to do a meetup, that'd be great. I mean, I'd love to do like an ASMR convention. That'd be awesome. Um, Man on the Train was absolutely my fave vibe was so relaxing. Thank you. What's, what would be your wildest dream idea for a video? Again, I mean, I have loads of them, but I don't necessarily want to give anything away. Anyway, guys, I think I'm being hounded by some uh, family and friends for a uh, Zoom to to just wish Happy New Year's to everyone. So I'm going to say goodbye to everyone here. And a very warm Happy New Year from me to you. And a huge, 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 huge thank you for coming to watch me waffle on. And for indeed watching my videos and supporting my channel. It's really cool. Your support is amazing. Your support is incredible. It enables me to take more risks. It enables me to produce more content, etc. So it's, uh, yeah, you guys are top legends. Thanks. And, you know, fuck off 2020. 2021, baby. This is us. This is our year. Let's do it. All right. Peace out, one and all. You've been amazing. Love you to bits. If I haven't answered your question, or if I haven't talked to you, I'm so sorry. There will always be another stream. Mwah. <laughs>